With us, my interview with Bobby Wine will be back on shortly. But meanwhile, members of the National Assembly and the Senate have, through a vote, selected nine representatives to the East African Legislative Assembly for a period of five years. Former Mombasa Senator Hassan Oma of Kenya Kwanzaa and Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka son Kennedy Kalonzo received the highest number of votes in the two chambers. The nine will now be sworn in on the 17th of next month ahead of their sittings. Stephen Leto now reports. A total of 58 ballots was cast. After voting for the better part of the day, the bicameral parliament has settled on nine members that will sit in the Yala parliament. <laughs> Out of the 15 nominees from Kenya Kwanzaa, five will now sit in Niala. Former Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar led the coalition with the highest number of votes, followed by Zipora Kering, who garnered 223 votes. Former nominated MP David Ole Sankok also made it to the top five in Kenya Kwanzaa with 223 votes, while Godfrey Mwangi bagged 213 votes from both houses. Falhada Deko, Survived by a whisker after Fred Muteti, who closed the list of top five, was aged out on gender technicality, paving way for Falhada, who was sixth. Azimio, that presented 12 nominees to the ballot, also got its share of four slots. Kennedy Kalonzo from Wiper Party, led with 262 votes, garnered from both chambers. ODM leader Rilo Dinga's daughter, Winnie Odinga, received a nod from 247 MPs from both coalitions, while Kanini Kega from the Jubilee Party made it to top three with 197 votes. Mombasa businessman Suleiman Shabal of ODM closed the list of four Azimio MPs by garnering 181 votes. Robert Pukose, member for NDBS. The nine will now join their colleagues in Arusha next month for swearing in ahead of their sittings. <laughs> Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.